Hey, what's up guys? Javen here with Tech Unit, and today we're going to be checking out the iOS 10 Beta 1. Alright, so iOS 10. Pretty excited about this one. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of new features, and I'm just going to go through just some of the highlights that I really enjoyed. So first of all, your drop-down menu now has only notifications. So I got that. Don't want to respond to that one. So we got notifications, search bar, and you got your widgets now that were previously on the notification bar on the top. And now they're on the side. So that's pretty neat. You kind of got that widget look. It reminds me of the app drawer from Oxygen OS in the OnePlus phones, personally. So that's pretty cool. And then on top of that, you've got these new notification center, or new control center, actually, that has tabs. And you've got your music in one tab and your controls in the other, which you can also 3D touch those and manage some things differently. Also, they redesigned the music app again. Now it really just it's really bold and it just kind of throws itself at you which is pretty cool to be honest it really has that nice kind of animated feel to it and it, the controls are really big for uh, easy use so that's pretty neat another feature that was really neat was the photos app they completely redesigned the photos app and in my opinion it kind of reminds me of google photos in the way that it just has, it organizes it by faces and it'll recognize places and things and then put it into folders based on that. It'll make little movies for you based on, you know, just little things that you've done and pictures that you've taken in certain places. It'll make movies. So that's pretty cool as an overall thing. We've also got this new home app to connect all your smartphone home apps. I don't know. I don't really have any of those, but if you do, you can connect them all right there in the home. And then one of the stars, I think, of this update is just being able to delete stock apps. I mean, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I can't think of anything that I'd wanted more since iOS 5 than to delete all the unnecessary apps that Apple gives you. So besides that, another cool thing about this new software is Messages app. So you have a very angry Andras texting me. So let's reply to him. So with this new features they have in here, you can make it invisible. So you can't see it until you brush your finger over it. You can also make it gentle. So it kind of fades in there gently, breaking the news. And then <laughs> You can also scream it loud if you'd like. It kind of just juts out there. Or you can go extremely violent and go all the way to slam, and it'll slam and ripple across all the rest of your messages. So <laughs> it's kind of pretty cool. So on top of that, if you want to slam it, you can also add a screen to it. They've got a couple of them like balloons, the confetti, which I don't know. The confetti just looks really awesome. I just want to watch it all day. You got a laser light show. Maybe you're going to an EDM concert. Maybe Galantis. I have no idea, but that'd be awesome. And then you got fireworks for all you pyromaniacs out there who love watching things explode. And then they got a shooting star. So those are the basic ones they have installed right now. There might be more later on. So you see you got the message and then you have that animation that plays in the background. And on top of that, you also have a cool, really cool... Now it has the contacts picture right in the messages conversation. So I think that's a really cool feature to have. Those are some just some of the features that I've found so far. Other than also you have these nice new round notifications that really look kind of clean and they really stand out. So everything kind of pops. On top of that, you have that new wallpaper. And I don't know what it is about water, but I just really like that wallpaper. So those are just some of the basic features of iOS 10. There's many more that I didn't get a chance to talk about, but you can try that out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can actually, it's a video that you can actually see 
how to put this beta software on your phone absolutely free no charge to you and it's pretty easy and if you want a really buggy phone <laughs> that's what you can try out but if you just want to see some of the features, yeah, it's a really cool thing to do. There will be a public beta out in July that will be a lot more stable. If you want to try that instead, you could sign up at Apple. I'll leave that in the link too, as well as there will be the official release in the fall if you just want to upgrade then. So you got that, and that's pretty much it for iOS 10. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Like, Make sure to like the video if you thought it was cool. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And be on the lookout because we'll be at E3 this year, which is tomorrow. So we'll be there tomorrow filming, and then we'll get a video up soon. So we'll be really excited to share what we find there and we'll let you guys be the first to know about it. All right, so until the next video, this is Tech Unit. We'll catch you later.